That's my intro. Oh, funny story, right? So you see, this is from the Facebook page. This is where I got the video. And as you can see, his name is Ladio. So, you know, as on Punish Release, his name is Ladio with a D. Um, I, like a lot of other players, uh, we get information sent to us before it's released. So as you can see here, uh, when I got the original message sent to me, the, the one of the names put there in, in brackets was Ladio, but it also mentioned the name being Ladio. So when I went to the Facebook page, I, I just kind of thought maybe my uh, connect just spelled it wrong inside the mail they, they sent to me. And, you know, the fact that they actually spelled it right, uh, I was happy. <laughs> I was happy. You know, that just mean they got more information than than what people are just promoting on the Facebook page. Yeah, so uh, actually, I like the name Ladio more than I like the name Latio. You know, um, he looks like a Ladio. And if you want to know what a Ladio looks like, looks like him. The it is uh, reminiscent of the name Daddio, which was used in the late 60s, the mid 70s. To describe, to describe uh, certain types dressed black men um, dressed like this, the name Daddio. So giving him the name Ladio just fits how he looks. So I was one for two in what I would guess his skills would be. Um, of course, the normal skill one is going to be the March capacity. What I thought was he would be, um, uh, a sh since I knew he would be shooter, I thought he would be a shooter defense hero because you know we don't have any shooter defense but he surprised me and came up with shooter attack it's kind of uh, you know this 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 deepens the 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 fight between what's better shooter or fighter it really deepens it ladio really puts shooter on another level and it's not just because of the shooter attack it's because of his uh final skill his third skill which we'll get to in the middle of this deep dive. His second skill is, of course, the shooter attack. The third skill is health increase for siege. Siege is whenever you're attacking any territory, whether it's someone's direct castle, whether it's the town hall, or whether it's the crystal crystal mine, the inside of crystal battle, not the quartz mines, not the crystal mines inside the quartz mine. Um, so... And that's important because the Crystal Mines, you know, those battles, the stats, you know, the stats might be right, but the turnout for the battle doesn't fit the normal PvP uh, scenarios. Maybe because the Crystal, the Quartz Mines is considered a different type of territory. I don't know, but it doesn't really evens out according to what you what you used to. Maybe it's some it's something different about that, and anyone to tell you that. So, uh, yeah, so. Once again, like I mentioned, it would be some type of something to do with with siege or territory, and for it to be health increase, man, that's a whew, that's a ringer, man. That's a very, very, very good stat to add a skill to add to a uh, shooter hero, a uh, shooter attack to add health. So you know, it kind of you know if I if I get them up there and max them out, it's going to give me some real, real problems on. On constructing my first team, who who consists of Layla, uh, Lilith, um, uh, Yuri, and Susanna, and currently Gorky. I want to phase out Gorky and add uh, Mines to it. And what I'm probably going to end up doing with Ladio is put him in the place of Lilith. You know, I, I like her with the attack, but to add this extra health and still be able to get the 45 percent 
shooter attack is going to be and this this is particularly for siege it's it's just gonna it's just groundbreaking um you know even though you know it's still real rough thinking along that line i may just take gorky out and just go uh three shooters and and two um uh, fighters especially with the health that he's going to be providing gorky is providing extra health as well even though his health is only going to 16 percent and gorky can goes up to 45 um or mines and you know mines he does a lot health wise other than just providing health um and on his fourth skill he has that uh that that extra additional troop attack which is you know of course that's another ringer and then he has that that one round cooldown on special skills depending on what special skills you have on your fighter or, or shooter heroes along with him on the team they may need a cooldown so they can reactivate he takes that one off again and it's just ridiculous as far as exploration dealing with campaign modes man he has this uh the skill damage transformation condition you know they mentioned it and the original talk of his skills here it is e even just more airy when you look at it um you know you start off at a very high percentage i believe it's um uh where, where did i see it at it was 60 percent i believe it was 60 percent yes at at uh yeah at you know it goes further for he starts he goes way back so his go all the way back to the very first on when you first unlock it it starts at 60 percent health and it stays at 60 percent health until you can get it past past three to number four and then it starts going up and that's just saying that when when you do that for, this is during campaign that when his health gets down um he, he he gets stronger so when you max that that skill out and this is the this is dealing with the um the first skill when you when you max that skill out all of a sudden when he gets the ninety percent health, he makes that transformation and and increase in damage and attack and defense and health and it's, he just goes bonkers, you know. So that first skill for him is just going to be something you're gonna normally when you're doing campaign, you're gonna focus on a first skill anyway because you want to be able to put a large damage output. You're normally gonna survive the first attack from the other people, so you want to put out a lot of damage. But this, he's primarily you want to do that first skill first it's just important um he have life still on top of it like sh they made this guy man like just insane you know especially for campaign mode he's just gonna be insane then he has skill damage increase and additional damage you ranking that up man he's he's just insane on both terrains pvp and on uh um dealing with the exploration and he's just just great man he starts off with that 990 health uh, so no one starts off with um higher health than than yuri mines and liadrin who starts off with 1125 and then um you have uh ivan who has about 1038 or something like that and after that the next highest is going to be 990 which was just ace and now we can add uh, Ladio to that list. Um, um, yeah, since I'm mentioning uh, the, the numbers on the health, I do want to go back. I know I mentioned that Lilith has one of the highest attacks in the game, but she isn't the highest. The highest attack in the game is going to be Vicky with that 412 health. I mean, that 412 attack. And um, she's not even, I believe she might be in a top five, but you have some with 375, which is going to be uh, uh, Melina, Veach, Gorky, and even Jaina, the, 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 uh, the, the gathering hero with a 375. Oh, Layla also has a 412. That's the other one that's along with Vicky with the 412. So I guess uh Lilith will be tied for six uh her, her three uh six what is she three um she's a 363 and there's one other person tied with that number 
which is the new guy, Minsky. But, you know, that's a high base that, you know, especially for her being a shooter hero. You know what I mean? So that's that's a very high base that, you know. So um, I just wanted to mention that as a correction since I was mentioning numbers dealing with uh, Ladio's health. He also has a 125 defense, which is um, tied for the highest in the game with Ace, Ivan, and Leon, you know. So, you know, he's he's, he's up there in, in, in all the areas. Um, he's still over 300 with the attack. His speed is at 110. The highest, I believe, is 125. But there, there are quite a lot of heroes that have that 125 mark. But 110 is still pretty high up there. So he's going to be very viable in a campaign mode. You know what I mean? Great hero, man. So this is a deep dive. I don't want to hold you guys too long. Um, the only thing I need to find out, I'll find out later on this week, is can you put generic shards? Generic shards do change the viability of heroes. When you cannot put generic shards on these heroes, it makes it makes them so hard to rank up. We currently have three that's like that, which is Minsky, Lilith, and Layla. Uh, I can't remember if we have a fourth person, but I know those three you cannot put um, generic shards on. So you guys like the video? Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. If you got something you want me to talk about, go ahead and uh, let me know in the, down in the comments. Also, I have coming up dealing with these different books, man, so you guys know how to put them on your heroes. They're not as it's not as easy as it may seem. So check out that video coming soon. Like, comment, rate, subscribe.